Ken Burns needs no introduction. One of the most influential filmmakers of our generation, his work has set a bar that's rarely surpassed or even equaled. He's helped to make documentary that not only wins prizes, but people tune in to see. Ken's very first film was nominated for an Academy Award and he stormed onto the scene as an artistic force with his seminal work, The Civil War. By constructing his examination of The Civil War as a long-form, multi-part series, he allowed the space and time for individual stories to emerge. It's a landmark in filmmaking, it's a landmark in television, it's a landmark in history. He never thought he would make another series about war, but then discovered we were losing a thousand World War II veterans every day. And learned about the Japanese American experience. Not only their internment, but the much less known story of the magnificent 442nd Regiment. November 12th, General Dahlquist announced he wanted to review the 442nd, to thank them for what they had done. It was during the making of this film that he sought the Japanese American National Museum's home movie collection. The one exception we made in our film to pursuing any particular uh, ethnic group were Japanese Americans. And I have to say from the start how grateful we are to the Japanese American uh, National Museum that you shared so generously with us your collections. Ken turned to our resources again when he tackled incarceration in his acclaimed National Park series and the Roosevelts. Using our collection in his renowned documentaries, Ken Burns is advancing our founder's vision of presenting the Japanese American story with a first person perspective. And tonight we are proud to honor him with the Japanese American National Museum's Founders Award.